Ready, set, go. Look at the pace. Look at the strength. An extraordinary display. Needs to break many a second. At the 30 second mark, his hands are in severe pain. Chris, to, uh, to work, let's just have a, a quick look at your hands here. Um, are they in a great deal of pain? Uh, probably not as much as I heard later. Okay, we'll let you get a breather, get some medical assistance. We'll let Chris get to work to find out whether this is a new Guinness World Record. Chris searches through the rubble for any boards still intact, but as you can see from the replay, Glenn has mostly made clean breaks at all the pine board stations. Chris, this is one hell of a bonfire we got here, but is Glenn a bona fide record breaker? 314 was the target. Break it down for us. What an absolutely stunning effort. Like, as you said, the record stood at 314, and in 60 seconds, Glenn, you managed to break 359 boards. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. You're at the Guinness Book of Records. Very, very happy. Very happy indeed. Unbelievable. So Glenn has trained in martial arts since the age of seven, which gives him something in common with these next record holders who began their quest for Guinness World Record glory at a very young age. The villagers of Padang. A Mongolian tribe that numbers some 7,000 are located in the dense rainforest covering the border between Burma and Thailand. In this culture, nothing attracts the opposite sex quite like this. A gleaming set of brass neck rings. The long-necked women of the Padang hold the Guinness World Record for the longest necks. On average, a Padong woman's neck will be extended by 23 centimetres. The longest neck ever recorded was an astounding 40 centimetres, three times the length of a normal human neck. It's considered a mark of beauty that a woman should have a nice stack of shiny brass neck rings. The longer the better. The rings are not really rings at all, but coils of brass tightly wrapped around the neck. The Padang women have worn these neck rings at least as far back as the 1600s. They start putting the brass rings one or two on the necks of girls about five or six years of age. Then they gradually build up the coils until the time a woman is adult and ready for marriage. Although it looks like the woman's heads are being pushed up by the rings, in actuality, the brass coils are pushing down on their collarbones, which expose more of the lower neck. If the rings are removed, some experts claim the women will be unable to hold their heads aloft without support, and they may even suffocate. But this doesn't seem to concern the ring-wearing women of the Padong. In fact, after a period of decline in the 1960s, brass neck rings are back in a big way. Up next, ever wondered how high you can high jump a motorbike? Well, these two American riders plan to find out. 
And tonight's Guinness World Records trivia question. Where in the world is the longest explored underwater cave? Is it A, Mexico, B, Australia, C, the USA?